Okay, now let's watch the controversial rise of Pippa Pipkin. Did they reorganize all of the aisles again? I hate that when they do it! Where would their kitsune section be now? I swear to god, if I have to be stuck with the horse memes for another week, I'm gonna... Oh, fuck! Oh, hey! Crazy seeing you here. You're probably wondering who the hell is that deranged rapid girl blasting up the foot care section? Promise to be my meat shield and I'll tell you all I know about this rabid maniac. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Pipkin Pippa is the embodiment of she's just like me for real. And by just like me, I mean your average basement dwelling keyboard warrior. Pippa is a female English virtual YouTuber and a member of Face Connect. She debuted as part of its first generation alongside Rinku Ashilia, Hakushika Iori, Tenma Maemi, Fujikura Uruka, Shizui Mishiru, and Utatane Naza. She's kind of like a female, hmm. more hyperactive version of Asmongold. <laughs> After all, they both drink way too much soda and repurpose entirely harmless part of their households for quite unsavory uses. I wouldn't drink soda at all, chat. No more vomit draw. Wait, what do you mean no more? No more. I, I, I haven't had mold in here for a while. No, no, no. The other thing. Oh, I haven't had a vomit draw in like over two years now. <sighs> She have that? Listen, now what? I grab, now I grab the, the, the trash can no. out of the bathroom mm. like a normal person. Why did you keep a drawer? <laughs> well, because I needed something that I could like lay my head into uh, in case I got sick in the middle of the night. And you were like a kid when you did this? Nah. Oh, God! <laughs> in a world filled with carefully <laughs> oh, curated Pippa. personas, Pippa's unabashedly degenerate antics deeply resonate with her audience. Oh, oh, fuck, you guys sent a bunch of them! Holy shit! Attracting a devoted cult following, her genuine and so we hit the speed of the other chat. You guys should. Potential for pushback you, you guys literally need. What is happening? Uh, uh, Jay, are you, like, finishing off the fucking TTS things? Not the TTS, uh, uh the tits things? Let me just quit it. Can you disable the throw something for today? Would be awesome. Because it's it's not working after all. Our controversy have struck a deep chord with her loyal fan base. As deranged as Pippa comes off, she is still very relatable and stands as a refreshing anomaly in the VTuber scene. From reacting to wacky stories to Thank you. fortune reading ASMR. I want Pippa to lick our souls clean of my seed after the act is done. Pippa has endless hours of content ready to destroy I love mentally. how unhinged Pippa, Pippa is. Walmart Pecora is a good case study of what happens when the creator is more degenerate than the audience. But naturally, straddling the fine line between edgy humor and shock value can stir debates, leading to polarized opinions about her. This divide is stark, with individuals either adoring her unique charm or finding her approach very off-putting. Before Pippa's debut, she released these videos as teasers showcasing her personality. Three of her notable videos include VTubers are PSYOP, where she claims that VTubers were part of a government PSYOP to ensure that humans wouldn't breed. PPPP and a clean version of Ram Ranch. 18 oh. happy friends at a Not fucking party. Ram Ranch. Big fat fluffy pillows. No! A classic. Pippa initially <laughs> dreamt of joining Hololive. I'm in a way glad she got rejected because if she did join, if she Hololive, did, she wouldn't be able to be unhinged. No way we would have ever got the Pippa that we know today. She finally legit, made legit. her long-awaited debut on June 20, 2021. In that stream, she explained that she's actually three, that she likes tabletop RPGs, and if you are a D&D lover like Pippa, do you know what else you might like? Oh, this no. book called the 
Tome of Baylor. There it is, the net. Comprehensive guide to the realm of fairies. She's too unhinged for whole one hundred percent of the monster manual, but with less chomping and way more sparkles. This book is Ed. so <laughs> useful for world building with minimal rules, meaning even I could use it without messing up the campaign in the first five minutes. It Yo. Works with modes of RPG system like Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition, and it's fantastic inspiration for readers and writers too. In the Tome of Baylor, dive into the mystical world of fairies with the latest book from Fable Spinners. Oh, that's and sick! your stories with incredible descriptions of fey realms, beautiful imagery, quirky characters, and mysterious powers such as the all-powerful Archray that rules over fairies. And speaking of powerful creatures, I know you guys love horses, and the Tome of okay. Baylor has this mythical upgrade, the Unicorn. It's really Whoa. clingy than those online parasocial unicorn fans, am I right? This book is perfect for RPG lovers, fantasy writers, and anyone who secretly believes in fairies. No judgment. Remember, the hardcore version, the fancy one, is a Kickstarter exclusive, and the campaign ends in March, so make sure you don't miss it. Thank you, Tom of Baylor, for sponsoring this video. Mm -hmm, now back mm -hmm, to the main mm -hmm. content, which is probably less magical, although it's very pastel. But hey, at least I won't have glitter in my hair for the next six months during her debut pippa also stated i love the background for it man i love the background playing video games and she loves chips on the Who other doesn't? hand she hates technical difficulties lack of <laughs> bufferings and crowds but most of all she hates the federal government I'm not a big fan of the Go. government. 30 30. I'm not a big, big fan, fan of the government. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Big fan of the government. If you hadn't noticed already, <laughs> Pippa is what we call a conspiracy theorist. Oh my she fucking god. She tried to be more seso and clean in the first few weeks of her debut. Chat, chat, do you want to kiss? You want to kiss? Why me now? It lasted a total of like two streams and she slowly evolved into what she is today. The Yabbit menace and force of chaos. Pippa loves corrupting everyone she collaborates with her conspiracy theories and odd internet facts. The same goes for when she collabs with Kirsha. Collaborations between Pippa and her oh, my are TV and on the TV. remarkable because... I watched this video on my TV and on the TV they don't show the YouTube name. Such a shame. She has great content. Uh, from uh, from Rima, like Rima even store. You mean? Because of their amazing synergy. I, I love the video afterwards. Anyway, don't worry about it. Be much more than just combining view counts. If the creators really click, it makes for content that grabs attention in ways they couldn't do by themselves. So just combining two big fan bases might not even bring the best results at times. This really showcases how it's all about that connections in those collabs, which can spark amazing content. And this goes for creators, big and small. I'm sorry, what? It's a black. Squirrel. Oh. Why, why can't you just say, okay. She's got to specify that it's melanated for when she attacks it. The thing is, Pippa often describes herself what? as being quite pessimistic about the world and herself, but not when it comes to VTubing. Regarding VTubing, she harbors an incredible passion. And when she begins discussing them, you can tell she sees them as a positive driving force and source of inspiration and that she is quite knowledgeable about the topic as well as being full of great advices. And you cannot be them, but you can be you. This is so corny. <laughs> this is so corny. But you can be you and you can be one of those like super cool people. You Not the Yandere Death in the back. Uh, Yandere Simulator in the background, and man. It take you longer to get to that point. And it's really upset. Chat, can you play Yandere Simulator on a uh, fucking YouTube? You should be able to, right? Like, I know it's banned on Twitch, but you should just be able to uh, stream it on YouTube if I'm not mistaken. In that case. You gotta let go of your ego. Yeah. But just keep at it. And then you'll hit 
whatever fucking age, and you hit 40, and suddenly you're, you're you're fucking Leonardo da Vinci in your fucking drawings and your inventions and whatever the hell, you know? So it would make sense for Pippa to found her own VTuber idol agency. In one instance, she even started a meme idol agency called Flavor. Flavor is a meme corporation set up by Pippa with the help of AI. It's meant as a parody of the state of VTubing and corporate culture. In this setup, Pippa is she portrayed kept some as a for this, though. corporate CEO who got fired from her previous company called Kuro Company after one of her former talents revealed- She did get some hate though because the images with uh, that were created though if I'm not mistaken were created with um, AI that stole the art from other artists so she did get on her head for that which yeah I'm against that too. I'm against art stealing for AI. Pippa was using her powers to force sexual favors from the talents. Given that the entire project is open source, Pippa's fans begin well, to what? contribute, leading to a surge of content for her community to engage you with. You say crater? What crater? Oh, you mean the under death? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know all about that. Like, I've watched videos. That's crazy shit, man. Involved. This initiative led to five generations of VTuber models, which were adopted and operated by her fans emerging from this agency. They even created Twitter accounts for each fuck? and every single model. Made up lores also emerged from this parody agency, including fake discord logs that were leaked and even yes fake vtuber drama leading to oh one my of god affiliated talents having to issue an apology on social media initially it was all fun and games but eventually she kind of lost control of it as it took a life on its own her co-workers began to get annoyed with some of the interactions with her fan base and even the ceo of face connect sakana started sweating a little bit i'm sure everyone was <laughs> wondering how much she was actually responsible for what the flavor talents were doing so like do you do you actually like run these accounts or something like well none of them i don't own any of these none of them i have no part in this all i did i made this logo with chat's help i generated i, I generated the images that's it i have not made any of these accounts so that's crazy. She had to <laughs> that is crazy. And that's kind of the downside of having an edgy fan base. The positive aspects is that you're extremely hard to cancel because most things will fly with them. The downside is that they're kind of hard to control. And if you ever want to go more seso in the long run or want to change your content, they might revolt. In another hilarious antic created by her fan base, the Pipakistan fan Twitter account was created. What the fuck? It was a roleplay account where each day the value of the fictional Pippa currency called the bun is adjusted up or down in response to Pippa's <laughs> later stream or social media antics. Pippa has her own bank, and on that topic, what the fuck are you guys doing? Where is my bank? How am I supposed to roll the world like this? Chat, where's my bank? She's right, chat. Where's my bank? Where's my fan account bank? G go on, get to work now. Now, chat. <laughs> But one of the bigger controversies Pippa was involved in, and one that helped her put her on the map, is the Hogwarts Legacy scandal. Hogwarts Legacy is a game that came out on February 10th. We've been talking a lot about Hogwarts lately, actually. <laughs> playing game set in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. It's pretty innocent, right? Well, the plot twist is that its otter. JK Rowling's has been making quite a lot of disparaging political comments about transgenders and trans rights on social media. And despite not being directly involved in the game's development or its narrative creation, Rowling profits from the game due okay, to man. her ownership of the Harry Potter intellectual property or IP. This ownership means that any content produced within the Harry Potter she gets like what one percent off of it like Our universe including hogwarts legacy generates that's... royalties for her in perspective this is like sense to her at this point this is like this is like small cash like small change this is like small change for her this of course developed into a large-scale protest and boycott against all the streamers that wanted to play hogwarts you got an idea for 1k follower celebration what is it 
What is it? What's the idea? Its legacy, regardless of their political views, which resulted into a mass harassment campaign of several content creators. A list was even created. Review. Yeah, right. No, thank you. Who was playing the game at the time? Creating that was a so fucking crazy, man. The community, as the members of this list eventually became prime targets of harassment. The biggest examples of these was the targeted harassment of VTubers such as. Have Silver we been cancelled yet? Kikimi. The conversation culminated chat, in a mass chat. Chat. Have we been cancelled on Twitter yet? Have we? I don't think so. Right? We're still too small. Gotta make it to bigger. Cyber bullying and lots of Are they not selling anymore? I have no idea. From several smaller VTubers who seized the opportunity <laughs> to promote their own platforms as a safe space, unlike the platforms of those who chose to play the wizard game. At the time, this minority of really loud outspoken voices created a false consensus of unanimity in opinions. Most were too scared to speak out or give a more nuanced take on the topic for fear of losing their platforms or even being being publicly harassed. So this led to the harassment, doxing, and bullying of Silvervale especially, who broke down on We talked about that recently, man. And saw some of her relationships with her co-workers sour. That's crazy. We, we all understand your feelings, and... And you know, I, I hope you enjoyed your time here while you were here. And it's okay if you don't want to Yeah, this was so terrible. People. But but she's doing great. She's doing great now. Yeah, she's really nice. I occasionally watch her. Like, I, I occasionally watch her whenever I get around. She's chill. I like her. Uh, the Silver Veil. My name is Silver Veil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was legit crying. She got... She got doxxed, harassed, her fa I think family and friends got doxxed as well. It was crazy. It it was madness. Twitter freaks, yep. Twitter freaks. Absolute fucking Twitter freaks. How do you go about proper activism and try to make legitimate changes? Uh, so pretty, yeah. But the worst part of the whole thing is that the harassment also resulted in the departure of the VTuber Pikami, who was widely loved and known for her impeccable behavior. And that's when Pippa steps in. I think Silverbell just got harassed over it. I think I think some people just started fucking harassing Silverbell from B Shoujo because she's playing it. Chat, imagine if I was a VTuber back then. Holy shit, I would have been on the fire. I would have been so under fire. <laughs> I would have been so under fire, actually. That would have been, actually been non stop harassing be because of my views on it. Because I, I play the fucking game and I tell those fuckers to fuck off. I would have been cancelled over a thousand times then. <laughs> they harassed Pikami. Yeah, they harassed Pikami. Poor Pikami, she didn't deserve it. She did not deserve it. People fucking suck. Don't get political in here, man. Don't get political. I would have enjoyed it, yes. I would have man. enjoyed the okay, soul. I'm gonna get political. Okay, I just think it's hypocritical to lose your fucking mind about the Harry Potter shit and then to go and play like Genshin Impact or fucking Actually, Blizzard no. games. All right, I'm just saying. Actually, I think if it was like like people were consistent with it, right? But then it's. It Actually, though, they're not consistent with it at all. They pick and choose whatever the fuck they want to do, whenever it fits into their agenda, whenever it gives them clout and to, an excuse to harass people. It's not consistent. It's not fucking consistent, okay? It's not consistent. Upon learning of Pikami's graduation, Pippa took the day off from streaming and returned the next day with a Hogwarts legacy stream. The Let's go! proclaimed dislike for Harry Potter. This was Pippa's way to stand <laughs> against the Twitter outrage mob. Today's stream! I hate this franchise, but I hate people on Twitter more! The situation Actually based. a significant backlash, prompting a noticeable shift in public's opinion. The contentious <laughs> nature of the issue brought about a strong reaction from those previously silent or neutral, revealing the broader spectrum of view- <laughs> Dude, the thing is, you try- you try not- uh, uh, <laughs> Even if I would get cancelled, right? You try to dox- <laughs> Even if I even would get doxxed. There's no kind of spotting here like they do in America. I'm fucking fine. Even if people got my address somehow, I'd be fine. No one would be able to set me a fucking pipe bomb or whatever. If I suddenly got packages, bro, I I, I just wouldn't open them. Like, uh, holy
holy shit, security in Germany is actually so huge. Like, bruh. Legitimately would be fucking fine. Like, what are you gonna do? Send me a death threat? Boo hoo. Boo fucking who? You know how often I've been told to kill myself on League of Legends? Like, you're never gonna get close to that. You know how often my friends tell me to kill myself? <laughs> Probably more than people in League. <laughs> points and sparking more intense debate on the matter. And while it is true that some political agitators might have partaked in this movement, most people just- Oh, what do you mean they don't deliver packages all the time anyways? <laughs> actually though, actually also true, like legit they don't even deliver the packages 80% of the time, it's just gonna go to a random fucking kiosk or something, and they're gonna have to deal with it. I'm just not gonna get it- Why would I pick it up? Why would I pick up a random package that I didn't know was arriving for me? Bro, I didn't even answer my door if I don't know if someone's gonna come by. It's gonna go up in the post office. <laughs> I don't even fucking answer my fucking door if I don't know someone was announced to come by. Like, if I delivered, uh, if I ordered food or a package or something, I do not answer the fucking door. <laughs> like... <laughs> Nah, I'm immune. <laughs> I'm immune. ...to play a game they love. The problem is that these people attack such a wide brush of people. It's like saying all Pokemon fans are transphobic. Most people didn't have any political <laughs> stake in this. They just wanted to play a franchise they grew up with. Nonetheless, this event ended up catapulting... Oh my god, female chat. ...as she got <laughs> lots of people talking about her for better or for worse. Many criticized her takes, and among her biggest critic is a prominent political left-wing YouTuber called Vosh. Vosh likes to pick fights on- He somehow keeps to be popping up in our videos recently. I wonder if he's done anything controversial lately. Chat crazy, isn't it? Isn't it crazy, chat? Online. A lot. But I stand by it. My moral principles are rock solid. In hindsight, this would end up being uh -huh. really poor choices of words for Vosh. So Vosh decided to pick a fight with Pippa based on internet threads meant to display her in a bad light that we'll cover later in the video. Pippa? Who I think is like a Nazi? The problem with Vosh is that he didn't... Right. Right. I didn't expect this bunny anime girl to end up pulling some deep lore on him and absolutely cooked him. Mm, Let's just mm, say Vosh mm. has a history of picking popping a little too far. Did you hear about what Vosh said about you? Yeah, I think he said I'm a Nazi. I'm not really concerned if a horse fucker thinks I'm a Nazi though. Pippa was even more right there. Oh my god, she cooked him. She cooked him alive, is what she did. She cooked him alive! ...than she fought at the time. See, Vosh has been vocal in critiquing the VTuber community, alleging that it harbors individuals with pedophilic tendencies and even an overemphasis on lolly content. A large portion of VTubers are degenerate 4chan incel pictures. And he's also just- I might be miscorrect with- Like, I might be incorrect, uh, uh misremembering shit, but wasn't he also, like, against Lollicon, but he leaked his Lollicon thing recently? Didn't we talk about that? Where he watched Lollicon hentai of VTubers that weren't even lollies? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. That's- Yep. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Love to see it! Same guy who's recently come under fire for accidentally opening his non folder, which there revealed is. a bunch of very young looking girls in promiscuous positions with none other than horses. This I is an example user, of the kind yeah. of structure that I'm referring to. <laughs> to the addict, I don't know what's worse here that he's a. How did he even get to it? How did he even get to the structure that I'm referring to? That's how. That's how. Safe under. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I see. Chat. This is why you never this is why you never screen share your entire screen. You do not screen your entire you you don't screen share your entire screen. That's how you don't this is how you dox yourself. I don't know what's worse here, that he's a mega hypocrite, that Giga Moran, yep. horses mixed in his prawn folder, or that all of this is right next to his stacks folder. Knowing now that that artist is a lolicon, yeah, I can see it. When I looked at it, I think the vibe that I got was like short stack thick. Can't wait for your McDonald's antic. I think I have a singular image of hentai on my PC if I didn't delete it because I downloaded it, that as a joke to make it my background once. I think that's the entire thing. I think it was like, I think it was some random anime girl in a bunny suit with like a banana. But apart from that, I have no hentai on my PC. I have no coin on my PC. Joke, right? <laughs> He is digging his own grave, man. Like, it's so cringe. Kind of thing, you know what I mean? Uh, like the way, uh, like goblins get drawn in porn. I want to Ah, oh, there's the goblin even thing! During the intense discussions mm, 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 surrounding mm. Hogwarts legacy and trans issues, Pippa consistently <laughs> called for the respect of individuals. Do I really need to make myself a hentai folder now? God fucking damn it, man identities she's issued a tweet notice it's nice to meet you all it's been a hectic past few days and i'm not sure how to word this properly while i do appreciate all of the kind messages i don't appreciate being used as an excuse to attack other people let's not shit fling and attack other people's identities if i see it i'll be blocking and banning you from my community like i do the rest of the trolls and bullies do not try to misinterpret Based. my words and Based. use me as a banner to attack other people Absolutely based. Although it sparked considerable backlash, I believe was essential in defining her community's boundaries firmly. Absolutely based. Like, 100% agree. Like, if if you attack someone under someone's name, you're not a fan of mine. Get out. I don't want you. This step was crucial to communicate what is and isn't acceptable behavior within her community, showing her dedication to creating a respectful space despite what most of her aunties would want you to believe. On a lighter note, the next day of Pippa's Hogwarts stream was her birthday, and her oh. fan, Mr. Yura, organized a birthday billboard ad oh. for her, which is pretty cool. Being a controversial figure has its perks and downsides. One of the downsides being that you're prone to attacks from outside sources, such as hacks, doxes, as well as being mass reported. In one of those instances, Pippa's Twitter account got banned for a single day. I got Twitter banned last night, and now I can't send tweets from my phone anymore. No! On the same day, Pippa also got her Discord banned as well for unknown reasons. Pippa, what did you do? It's fine. It's fine. Too much bed posting. It's fine. My Discord's gone? Guess no! DMs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she regained access back to her account on January 8th. Please, Discord support! You said I have 14 days to resolve my account issue or you close my account! But you won't respond to any tickets! Legit, that was such a huge issue with Discord. I don't know if that's still the issue. I think they, like, made the time frame bigger, I think. But holy shit! Like, they don't respond bond to any fucking tickets but give you 14 days to resolve it like hello still a massive the issue discord oh my is god back. i will never say anything bad about discord again <laughs> was also embroiled in a fake doxing attempt basically what happened is that a youtuber by the name of camelot 331 posted Raid. an irl picture alluding that it was pippa pippa then responded to the tweet confirming that this was not her and added that this could cause privacy issues for VTubers and legal issues for VTubers and corporations. Jesus Christ, this not me. Please don't post things like this about VTubers. It creates privacy issues, and for people in a company, it could create legal issues. Camelot then apologized wow. on Twitter for the trouble he had caused, stating, 
People obviously saw the picture I posted yesterday. Had I known the VTuber culture, I wouldn't have posted. A friend was hurt over it. Something I would never want to happen. Even more were hurt. It was a joke. Sorry to Pip. Good lesson learned. Apologies. Yours truly, c 331 Upon Pippa's tweet, internet detectives delved into the message, highlighting capital letters scattered within the text to unveil a hidden oh, trace. Oh no. Please is gay. This revelation led many to interpret it as either a lack of remorse or an act of trolling. What the fuck? Speculations arose that this cryptic message no, you a apology rejected. to Pippa's <laughs> previous jest, referring to his- Bro, if you don't apologize with an ukulele nowadays, what the fuck are you even doing? What the fuck are you even doing? ...him as a fruit during a collaborative podcast. Oh my- oh yeah. That's what I want to see immediately. Do you think it's your fault for looking a little too fruity, maybe? <sighs> Why are you gonna say that? But the biggest Shmo! accusation Pippa has received is being called a Nazi and an anti-Semit. This is a common trend in VTuber spaces to throw that word around. People yeah, like, what the fuck? Why? Gora was a Nazi at one point, like, which I speak about in my Gora video. In one instance, Pippa joked about shekels, which is an Israeli currency, often referenced in Jewish conspiracy theories or anti-Semitic tropes. Hi, thank you for the 937. Thanks for the stream, Pips. Have my shekel. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the... I'm rubbing my hands. Thank you for the shekels. What the fuck? Sorry. I don't know. Oh, thank you. Oh, fuck's and then they also accused her of doing... That's an edgy joke! Get, Get your snedgy joke! People so bad deep! It was stupid and funny! It was edgy! God! Who is the Nazi nowadays? I know, right? Apparently everyone. You're a Nazi, I'm a Nazi. I shouldn't say that shit out loud. It's a joke! It's a joke! I, I'm on the stream, I'm on there right now. It's a joke, I'm not a Nazi. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> edgy is bad, so fucking bad, man. Everyone should apologize with a ukulele or you are not serious about like 100%. Holy shit. Clip. No! Oh man, imagine he started. Imagine his opening line was like, I'll take your breath away. Yeah, apparently that's okay, man. Which was. Well, that's Pippa. Sometimes I say stupid shit. Ooh. I'm gonna fucking shoot up a woman! <laughs> Sometimes I say stuff. And that's where the Pippa incident originate fro originates from. I see. I see. Was well, that's Pippa. Sometimes I say stupid shit. <gasps> I'm gonna fucking shoot up a Walmart. Sometimes I say stuff and I don't believe it, but I believe it while I'm saying it, and then five seconds later, I'm like, that was the stupidest thing I've ever said. Why did I say that? Five seconds from now, I won't even remember what I just fucking said, chat. Like, this is how my attention span is. I'm talking, and then I forgot that I talked about it. He said, would you never get that angry over getting over it, would you? There's a reason I got a banned League account. During a gameplay session of Hogwarts Legacy, some viewers interpreted the player's negative comments about goblins as being anti-Semitic as well. That thing's fucking it ugly. Ooh. Oh, just a moment. <laughs> you know what? I think it's okay we're killing these things. They're pretty fucking ugly. I think we should genocide them. This confusion may stem from prejudiced stereotypes about Jewish people, leading to a misunderstanding no! that the criticisms of goblin characters were indirectly targeting Jewish individuals. Allegations that people then took the time to clarify during the stream. I just want to say, people thought that I was being anti-Semitic. I didn't Should hiccup, I didn't hiccup! The goblins have fucking black sclera and like l wrinkly, gross little faces and I gasp, I didn't hiccup. Bro, the guy. The, the, no! That's not a dog whistle, dude! They, they're goblins! They're creepy looking! Pippa also has been accused of denying the Holocaust. When in fact, this clip only a really messed up super chat. 333. I think Helen was mostly legit, but not as capable as she's made out to be. Like, how 
that one event happened, but six million, no way. Fuck's sake. Wait a minute. Do 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 clip where she is going fully into her conspiracy theorist trope. But K Angel, what if I told you it's already like that? What if I told you that there's already a group of people running the world right now and they have been for hundreds of years? They're even trying to reduce the world population to one billion, or sell some conspiracy theorists say. What if I told you, K Angel, that it's not about the population number? It's about who is left. These are just few minutes out of thousands of hours of streaming. This isn't Pippa's main content. She usually it's just a funny on edit though, no? uplifting projects. It is just stupid, yes. And producing entertaining content. It's, it's just stupid shit clip being hyper edgy, man. It's just... Um, people will take anything for her fans to These make it go out of context or make it look jokes, worse. Joking about sensitive topics doesn't require you to endorse these subjects. And if you don't legit, believe me, legit, just because you make an edgy like fucking joke about this doesn't mean you agree with that shit. Like, hello, humor is coping. Hello. Picked doesn't require you to endorse these subjects. And if you don't believe me, just hear it from Pippa herself. Sometimes I say stupid shit, <gasps> but I Notice. don't mean it. Or sometimes I say stupid shit, <gasps> and a year later, shocking, I know, but people change in a year. I don't Whoa. Mean it anymore. Or sometimes I still agree with it, but I didn't mean it the, I didn't mean to word it the way that I did. I'm not gonna apologize, but I wish you wouldn't hate me so much. I would've worded it more nicely if I had known you were gonna hone in on it. Pippa is often accused oh of being part of the alt-right movements, which has been associated with anti-Semitism. These antis often dig up clips of Pippa where she presumably manipulated co-workers into thinking that the Joshua Moon site is a good place. Mm. They've talked about us a bit, though, and they've been, they've been really friendly. There you go, Kiwi Rolls. Hey, Chan just called you delicious. Oh, that's Sonny too. <laughs> that's Sonny too. Joshua, no, what's going on? Sorry. Crazy to think anyone would call Tenma innocent. The website owner addressed Pippa's comments and her positive reaction to his response sparked additional controversy. This sequence of events further intensified the debate surrounding her actions and statements. Did you see Noel's reaction to you? What the hell? No? <laughs> what do you say? What the fuck is this pet anime shit? <laughs> he said, why are you two screaming right now? <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. He said he wanted to become a VTuber. No? Well, help him out, Chad. Help him out, man. There's also been several threads made on Pippa where she is also accused of supporting and encouraging interactions with lolcows and alt-right Gamergates figures. The controversy Gamergates, surrounding man. Pippa involves clips I love that, the when viewed bleep. without context, <laughs> appear quite incriminating. However, it's important to note that these clips were often deliberately taken out of context. The background and timing of these accusations are crucial for understanding the full picture. The allegations originated from a user involved in the hashtag Drop Kiwi Farm movement led by Kifals, a controversial figure who had her own movement turn against her after she was accused of embezzling hundreds of thousands of dollars. There's obviously oh. a lot more to be said about Kefals, but she's not a VTuber, so honestly, who cares? All you need the lace to know background, is that yeah. this movement, which initially aimed to boycott this particular website, eventually morphed into a widespread hate campaign. Its main oh, objective shifted fuck. towards opposing anything associated with Kiwi Farms. This campaign scrutinized anyone with even the slightest connection to the website, including those who referenced it in memes, jokes, or even casual messages. Mentions. Consequently, Pippa found herself targeted during this period, caught in the crossfire of the movement's broader agenda to combat the website's influence and activities. The problem is that a user or someone such as Vosh, who now stumbles onto these threads and who doesn't understand the context of the time and space Boys. where these were written, will only take these words at face value. Pippa, who I think is like a Nazi? 
And Sick. this is why she has been a heated topic amongst VTuber audiences in the past couple of years. But hopefully oh, this helped shed a light on Thank you some for the of follow. the misconceptions about her. Thank you for the follow sub. Hey, What's up? Hear that Vosh collab. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to ask him to see his barn? <laughs> it's just polite. Thing is with Pippa, it really shows how a VTuber can embrace the whole 4chan slash anonymous forums slash rats and how we can engage with these communities without necessarily have them define us there is a lot Aww. of great content that can come out of mixing communities welcome like back this. then <laughs> and she's not welcome just back. your edgy epic rabbit vtuber but a complex character capable of fitting both in the shitposting world and the glossy idol corporate vtuber scene the fascinating thing with her is how she's managed to thread the line of controversy often even crossing it sometimes to the despair of her boss fishman she definitely likes to keep everyone on their toes but she still managed becoming virtually uncancelable even through the really controversial yeah. shit she says Yanis was originally from fortune that's true being really honest about who you are to your audience they'll accept you for who you are it makes it even more remarkable that she works for a company that allows her to do this sakana intentionally recruits controversial talents but still aims to be seen as a legitimate idol company so she definitely had to become a bit more tame since joining and that's probably for the best there is only a certain degree of honesty the internet can tolerate until it creates much i can't wait until the last episode of the coffin of andy and Layla is out and i think then we're gonna play it on stream write them an email right the fuck now who wait what 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 Oh, you mean the the corp? I I don't want to join a corp, even if they like controversial people, quote unquote. I I I I don't want to join a corp. I don't. Much more hassle than it's worth it. Not gonna. The only corp I would ever join is V Chojo. <laughs> the only one that I would ever want to join is V Chojo because they let you do whatever the fuck you want. You and V Chojo is amazing. That's the only one I would ever say yes to. Lie. But apart from I that, no thanks. I was familiar with Pippa before this video, but I hadn't dove that deep into her content. After researching her, I can irrevocably say that I'm kind of a fan now. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it actually is, based. yeah. I always like to see someone who is unabashedly themselves. But what do you guys think of her? Let me know in the comments below. The first interactions, uh, interactions. Pippa is often accused of being part oh. of the alt-right movements, which has been associated with anti-Semitism. <laughs> Semitism. Okay, Celtics. 